Welcome to the channel everyone. My name is Ian Yarwood and I'm a lawyer here in Perth, Western Australia. Now as many of you would already know, Thailand is beginning to open up to international tourism and in fact uh, Great Britain has uh, taken Thailand off its no-go or red list. So we can expect to see many more tourists from Britain over the coming months and over the next year uh, looking to take vacations in uh, the so-called land of smiles being Thailand. So right now it seems like a very appropriate time to revisit a story about a Thai diving instructor by the name of Santi Cockpool. His real name is Pat Cockpool. Uh, Santi had uh, attacked a 28-year-old Scottish tourist in the fishbowl uh, bar on Surrey Beach back on the 15th of August 2020. The story goes that Santi had been assaulting a, a female tourist and as this 28-year-old uh, Scottish tourist walked past he simply asked if everything was okay whereupon Santi promptly uh, grabbed the, the bottle that he was holding, smashed it on the Scottish tourist's jaw and uh, proceeded to slice open the left side of the tourist's neck and the tourist uh, almost bled to death but with the aid of uh, friends and uh, onlookers he was uh, uh, the recipient of some uh, really outstanding first aid and he was rushed to a hospital on the nearby island of Koh Samui where he uh, was the recipient of some life-saving operations. Now I uh, have um, uh, had a couple of artists impressions of the injury um, created and they appear in the thumbnail to this video. So uh, I don't really have a lot more to add to the story um, other than that but I'm aware that some people aren't aware of the story at all so some people will be learning about all of this for the first time and they do say that a picture paints a thousand words and sometimes uh, an artist's impression can have much more impact than my mere words. But the background to the story, so that was the very uh, background and in fact uh, two days after that there was a little um, uh, piece that was published in uh, an online forum called um, uh, Time Samui. Uh, a very brave person had uh, written a little story about that and that had been referred to um, in another online forum called Thai Visa Forum which is run by the Nation newspaper. But the interesting thing was that the Nation newspaper very promptly deleted uh, any reference to this attack from its online forum. So it's a great example of the mainland uh, or the mainstream media being muzzled uh, by um, uh, sort of unsavory forces because of criminal defamation laws and all sorts of uh, other problems within Thailand. Uh, freedom of speech is something that doesn't really exist there. And there were some other interesting features to the story. Uh, once I saw it and, and published a video about it, in fact I've had uh, six videos published on, uh, on this channel uh, that uh, feature the attack and uh, as I started to produce these videos there were some people who were denying, some people, particularly those locals on Koh Tao, who were denying that the attack ever occurred. Um, some people were saying, uh, in fact one particular diving instructor who worked for Bands Diving Resort where uh, Santi had also worked, um, maintained that it was simply a bar fight, whereas in fact uh, it was the bar fight was something which was all one way, it was simply an assault and um, there was no fighting by the, uh, by the victim whatsoever. So um, it's a great example of how people on Koh Tao and other apologists for the island uh, will uh, mislead and um, make false statements and misleading statements about uh, crimes that uh, transpire there. And it's also interesting because it's a story that's not been covered at all by the mainstream media. Uh, and uh, this is one of the great problems with the island. Everything is just covered up, that is, when it comes to crime. And that's one of the reasons why uh, this YouTube channel has come into existence, because there's uh, really a vacuum uh, of information 
that's uh, made publicly available. Everything's kept very hush-hush. Now another interesting aspect to the story, there are many interesting aspects. One is that Santi himself is a very violent individual and you might ask, well why did Van's Diving Resort, which is one of, if not the biggest uh, diving school in the world, uh, why did they hire such a violent person? And the answer to that also appears on this channel and the answer is that back in 2002 back in 2002, the um, founder of Ban's Diving Resort, Mr. Ban, was assassinated on Siren Beach. So, uh, the uh, widow and the widow's sister uh, felt that they needed to protect their investment, or protect their business, and they hired Santi basically as muscle uh, to protect the business against um, other criminal elements on the island. So that was their reason behind it, and you can understand them uh, doing that. Another interesting aspect to the story is that some weeks after uh, the event happened on the 15th of August 2020, I contacted um, Paddy's office in Sydney. Uh, they, in Sydney they look after the Asia Pacific region, and it was fairly apparent from my communications with them and their communications back that none of the diving instructors and nobody on the island had actually informed Paddy about uh, the assault that occurred by a Paddy diving instructor upon this hapless tourist. But it would appear that Paddy duly investigated and in December Santi was expelled as a Paddy instructor. But that only came about, uh, appears to have come about because of um, the report that came from yours truly. Now, another interesting thing that came uh, that uh, came out of all of this is that after this assault, uh, which almost ended in um, another tourist being murdered on the island, the owners of Bands Diving Resort actually fired Santi. Um, he transgressed on other occasions too, but this appeared to have been too serious. So he was fired. So that was another interesting aspect to the story. Um, there are a few other interesting aspects such as the fact that Santi is very well connected uh, he's uh, very friendly with uh, a sergeant major of police by the name of Chet who uh, has featured in uh, a number of um, well, in, in documentaries and in newspaper clippings and stories he was supposedly the first Thai police officer on the scene when Hannah and uh, David's uh, Witheridge's, uh, David Miller's body were found on the uh, Koh Tao back in uh, September of 2015. But Santi also has an older brother who is, who is a lieutenant colonel of police um, stationed uh, in Suratini, which is a, a major city um, on the mainland uh, near Koh Tao. So there are all these different aspects to the story and um, another interesting aspect of the story is that Santi had actually come originally from the nearby island of um, Koh Phangan and uh, is a little bit older than uh, the two female owners of Ban's Diving Resort but you know they've really known, they've all known each other since childhood. But uh, look I'll be putting some uh, links to the other six videos beneath this video so if any of you feel inclined to get into a bit more detail behind the story, uh, feel free to do so. Um, and you may also wish to check out my uh, Facebook page, which is um, Koh Tao Death Island. And uh, so that's about it for now. Um, there will also be images, still images, that I will put on the, uh, on the Facebook page. Well, thank you very much for your attention if you've uh, listened all the way through. If you found this video at all interesting or useful, or if you think that it would be something that other people, particularly potential tourists, should see, please give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Please uh, make a constructive comment underneath. I do read all of them. And uh, share it um, as much as you can on your own social media platforms. Thank you much, very much for viewing, and stay safe. Bye for now. Bye.